and today's video I'll show you how to replace the blower for the heater for those who are curious so what's the part number how much I paid for it I'll drop a picture of my receipt no tools you need just a flat screwdriver utility knife um, a ratchet quarter inch and also a 10 millimeter socket a 12 millimeter socket and also a Torx 25 and here is a quarter inch socket for that and two extensions that's all the tools you need and it took me two hours to do this job and for those who don't want to watch the whole video i'll show you what you have to do to get to your blower so to remove this cover you have to of course remove this one uh another one right there remove the cover for the speakers remove the speaker there is two more bolts right there okay remove the handle on one bolt right here another on the bottom remove uh that plastic cover right there so you'll be able to remove that mat not all the way but just halfway because you have two more nuts right there plastic nuts that holds the whole thing the cover also, there is two more Torx 25, one here and another one right here. After that, you remove the cover, you'll find your blower. It has one more cover underneath that cover. So let's begin. As I said, Torx 25, remove these two bolts right here. And for those guys who are not subscribed to my channel, please do so because I'll have more videos coming like this. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also by using that utility knife, you can just like pop it. So more Torx 25 right there. I have to use a ratchet here because of the windshield. A little speaker you can just insert a knife or something like this and pull it up pull the speaker up and then you see the, uh, I'll show you how to remove it but it's not very easy with one hand so you see you have to push it here push it here down and here Try to do one hand, yeah, like this. And down here you'll find find a bolt number 10. Just remove it. Once again, an utility knife will help you to remove this little cover right there. By just and you'll find here a bolt size 12. Once again, repeat the process. And as I told you, one more on the bottom, size 12 as well. So you remove these two bolts, it just slides off. Once again, towards 25. I tried once to replace uh, the blower without removing this cover, but you have to fight that mat, and it's it's really hard. It's a lot easier just to remove this plastic cover. Trust me. So you remove these bolts. Just pull it up like this. Nothing special. Now you have access to the bottom the cover and that's the first one and there is the second one you have to remove so just do this and these nuts are size number 10 so now you are ready to Pull it. I remove these two on the bottom as well. 
but before I just want to you know yeah do this sometimes they remove all these things I tried without removing it and it worked that's why I just removed those two bolts and you know to give it that room that's kind of enough so now I'll try to pull it lift it a little bit like this So the main thing is you want to pull it this way, like kind of a this way. You can see how much it goes underneath right there. You kind of have to you now free it up right here. Just slowly take your time. Unless you want to remove the whole thing right there. So I found the easy way. You actually actually have to remove the that rubber here make sure that you pull this one this way and then you see it here like this like this it's going up so you have to pull it and put it back the same way cover is removed now it's the most boring part you have to remove all the clips right here you see this one here another one here it's all around so your blower is just right underneath here i'll not show you because i'm not able to work with one hand and probably the easiest way is to have a flat screwdriver don't throw these away because you'll need them later just like that and remove all the way around. Don't be confused by these ones, they just turned the other way. But it's the same principle. Let's see? Don't lose it. <laughs> the hardest ones to remove and to put back. I just removed this one from here. And there's one more. Yeah, can you see it? And one more is right here. Yeah, this one. It's hard to put them back, but on my previous truck, I, I just did removed it. all the clips. And now it's just like pull it. Just pull it. So we're done. We removed the covers, and now it's time to remove that little blower from here but before i do that i want to show you something you see these wires just make sure when you put it back you install the new motor put them back in place right there just like this because you'll will be really hard to put the cover back if you don't put those wires back there and now just pull it and also pay attention you see these rails here and the rail on that side, that's how you slide it back. So just pull it, drop it. The sensor right here, you need it. Don't throw it away. You have to install it on the new blower. Right now I'll show you how to remove this sensor. So you have to push the top here and the bottom. Once again, my knife, coming in handy today so just like this here probably just like if you have a flat screwdriver probably gonna be better off and the last thing what we have to do is to remove these wires they go all the way back here but first it's the second you see it's the second in there so to get access to it I have to remove the first one by pushing it from the bottom up you can just like slide to like this push it and remove the first one and 
now you have access to the second one same thing from the bottom push it up and pull it show you how it's in there so it's that that position so on the bottom you just have to push here when you push it you pull it that simple and the first one is the same thing it's on the bottom here you push it and it's positioned like this so you push it up and pull it it's that simple and now I'm ready to drop in the new blower and I have to repeat the whole process again. One thing I want to show you when you put this cover back, you see this channel right here? It should go first, right on top of the motor, right there. And also this one goes right into this hole. And just push it in. It's super easy. Easy. Requires a little patience. Done. Now we have to put it back. Let me try and to before show. Before installing these clips for the cover, uh, this end goes first and this one goes last. So it's going to be a lot easier. You'll not, I mean, that's the way you have to put them. Otherwise, you'll fight it really hard. This one first, this one second. And to make it easier, you have to remove this one more nut so you have better access to these places. I should have done it before, but it's never late. And as I said, this one goes, this end goes first, this, this goes second, just like this. And push it in. Just like that, and repeat the whole process for the, the whole cover. To mention one more time that you go with these on the top, you go with this end first, like this. And then I take a flat screwdriver, push it in, like this, and, and turn it. That's it. And as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so because I will be making more videos like this and if you liked this video please hit that like button and drop me a comment below because I really appreciate that. At the beginning of the video I promised that I will drop a picture of my receipt and here you go. Here is the part number and how much I paid for it. Have a good one.